All right, Rebecca, so today we're going to move on to breaststroke, okay? okay. Stroke you're pretty familiar with. <laughs> breaststroke, as you know, is, is the only real short axis stroke. It's the one where we're rotating our body along the axis to our hip, and we're really elevating, counting on a lot of motion backward and then forward mm -hmm. that you've been so good at. Um, but there's two elements of the breaststroke that are really vital. One is the 80% of the power comes from the legs. So you have to develop a strong kick in order to be very good at breaststroke. Mm -hmm. The other part of it that a lot of people forget about is the importance of what happens after the kick, where 80% of that propulsion is providing a lot of the force, but you also have to be in a very low drag position moving forward. What we're gonna start out with a few drills that are gonna help us to get into that low drag position. Uh, it amazes me because most breaststrokers, when they, when they take the, 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 when they're ready for the strike phase, when they're ready to move forward, instead of going into a low drag position, they go out here like Superman or Superwoman, which is a very bad position. So they, they, whether they have power in their legs or not, they're not going to go very fast or very far forward. So what we first do to try to get you to do something that is really important to keep the head down as you're moving forward is to go into a uh, what they call the hyper streamlined position, practicing getting the chin down into the same position you're going to come off if you did a freestyle flip turn and came off the wall. You're hopefully not going to be in this position, but rather you're going to be in this hyper streamlined, tightest position you can get in. We're going to start with a three kick down drill. That way you get underwater and you stay in that streamlined position for three kicks. You come up, take a small pull, get back down into the streamline with the chin on your chest, holding that position, seeing if you can glide as far and as long as you can, mm -hmm. holding a minimal drag position, okay? So let's start with that. At our race club camps, we use many unique drills to teach the fundamentals of breaststroke. One of them is the two or three kick underwater drill in the hyper streamlined position. By hyper streamlined, I simply mean that it's the very best anatomical shape that the human body can get into in order to reduce frontal drag. Olympic gold medalist Rebecca Sony shows us how we should try to look not only as we enter the water from a racing dive or when coming off a wall or a turn, but also as we move forward in the strike phase of the breaststroke. We may not be going quite as fast in the breaststroke compared to the dive or the turn, but the physical laws of drag still apply. As a master swimmer, I can tell you how hard it is to get into the streamlined position. Rebecca makes it look easy. And yet, in order to swim fast, we have to try. Regardless of our age or flexibility, there are three important things that we need to do to create a good hyper streamline. One, tuck the chin down so it nearly touches our chest. Two, squeeze the elbows as closely together with the arms placed behind the head. And three, extend the arms forward in the shoulder joint as far as possible. Not only will these maneuvers help streamline the front end of our bodies, but they also help excavate and tighten the abdominal area, making the entire body leaner and faster in the water. Now, in order to do this drill correctly, you should start out with just two kicks underwater instead of three, and remain underwater for both kicks, beginning the first stroke by aiming downhill. Allow a little bit of air to trickle out through the nose, and by the time you've completed the second kick, the air remaining in your lungs will float you back up to the surface. You may not have the same kicking power as Rebecca or world-class swimmer Zach Hayden, but hyper-streamlining the front end of your breaststroke will definitely help you swim faster.